Hey, what's up everyone? This is your boy Jay, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And especially, you know, for today too. And just I mean, before I start, I just want to say happy St. Patrick's Day weekend to all the peeps who are watching this on Instagram and on YouTube. And I just want to explain today too about the full moon placement in Virgo today too. And I just looked at the charts, you know, this week also. Really just this week what the full moon placement is today. And you know, it said it was in Libra in one chart, and then I look deeper again, it says in Virgo. So I'm not sure what's up with that too, but the full moon placement in Libra, I think it's gonna be a nice placement for a certain time and then it's gonna go into Virgo. But anyways, um I just wanna um really mention that too for this um full moon placement in Virgo today too. Or Libra, wherever it may be, too. I just, I might name it um, Full Moon Placement in Virgo. But just like for this video, too, and especially, you know, for the Full Moon in Virgo as well. And especially during this time of spring and just where we can just take the time for ourselves to reinvent ourselves and to manifest some powerful stuff for in our lives, too. And just like, you know, today is just like it's a really powerful time to really just, you know, be mindful of our actions too and really just you know embracing our imperfections and really just being really mindful if we are just and you know um as what's the word for i could explain if you want things to be a certain way too just really things to be perfect and i know in virgo's placement too you know is really known for a lot of people a lot of people who have that full moon and virgo placement are really perfectionists at heart and, you know, I just like, you know, perfectionists, you know, they like things in a certain way to make sure everything is, you know, downright to the core and everything. Want to make sure everything is good. But, you know, especially for the full moon placement in Virgo also, it's just really a powerful time for us to really just, you know, uh, how do you say, you know, manifest stuff too. And, but also, you know, to really embrace our imperfections and really being mindful of that as well. And so I also, as you guys can see in this video, I pulled eight um, Oracle cards total. You know, the four on top is from the Elemental Oracle deck and the ones on the bottom are from the Archangel Metatron deck too. Um, Self-Mastery Oracle deck, I should say. And I'm gonna really share these powerful messages for all of us today for the Full Moon and Virgo placement too, or the Full Moon and Libra placement as well, since it's, you know, re I'm recording this video and it, it's like around lunchtime right now too, but um, hopefully, you know, um, just like with this video also, you know, hopefully you guys really, you know, gain some perspective from these messages also, and really take this all into for the full moon and Virgo basement and for the, you know, St. Patrick's Day weekend. And so with that being said, I'm going to turn around and I'm gonna flip these cards over. Uh, four cards, you know, that pull on top over and just really share these powerful messages for you guys today, too. And really share for the full moon placement in Virgo. And so I pulled four top cards, you know, right now, too, with the Elemental Oracle deck. And just to really, you know, share for it, um, for the full moon in Virgo placement. And the first message that I have for you guys, too, and if you could really see that message is just to really continue to build ourselves up with the Adams card. And this is really connected to all the elements, you know, earth, wind, earth, air, fire, and uh, water. And, you know, kind of like, you know, this is like the, let me see if I could pull this back. This is like the Captain Planet uh, message too for us too. And just like what this card really means too, is just to really continue to build ourselves up, to really, you know, 
build ourselves up uh, in very, you know, mindful ways too. Just like, you know, spiritually, emotionally, in every aspect, to always continue to build ourselves up. And to also to really find ways to ground our energy during this time too, with a full moon placement in Virgo. Just like, you know, really taking the time to just ground our energy. And it's just like really find ways to really ground, whether it will be just, you know, connecting with nature, as you guys can see in this video, connecting with the planets and all that too. You probably could see the moon in this um, picture also. Let me see if I could move it just a little bit right here. Uh, just like, you know, in this video too, maybe you guys can see, it's just like to really connect with nature in so many ways, in your own way as well. Just, you know, find that clarity for ourselves to just ground our energy. And to also, you know, to reinvent ourselves, I got the element of wind, and this is really connected to the air card. And just like, you know, um, you know, the previous card of gravity that really connects to either the earth and the atoms card is really connected to all the elements, you know, fire, earth, air, and um, water. And it's just like with this one too, this is the wind, and this is really all about change. Let me see if I could keep this straight too. And it's just like, you know, for all for us today too, for this um, full moon placement as well, it's just to really reinvent ourselves. If like we feel like we need to change, you know, we feel like a change in the air and we need to reinvent ourselves and to evolve and all that too. It's a really powerful time to do that. And you guys can see in this image also in this video too. Um, it's just like a really powerful time for us to really just um, reinvent ourselves and to really just uh, change for better. And also the last message that I have for you guys too, and this really connects with the air element as well, is just, you know, got the dark matter card too. If you guys can see this image right here. And just like with this image also, you see the butterflies and the dark matter and all that too. It's a really unique picture here. And just like for us too, um, in this, uh, for this message also, it's just you really having faith with the unknown too. You know, it's really um, having faith in that. And just like, you know, having faith in the unknown and just having faith in general it can really just bring that um, spiritual clarity for ourselves too. To just really, you know, having faith with the unknown and really just trusting the process of what everything is happening. And so like, you know, these images of the butterflies and the dark matter, and it looks pretty spacey and spaced out too. And just like, it's just really all about, you know, having faith, you know, in the unknown, just in all that. And just like you see the images of the butterfly is really unique in this picture too. And so with these cards too, it's um, all together. And just like, you know, the Adam's card, you guys can see here too. I'm going to post this image right here again. And this is really all about, you know, like keep building ourselves up, you know, in so many ways. And just to, and also to really ground our energy too, you know, with the, the, uh, with the earthly element message right here, just to really all about, you know, finding ways to really just ground our energy in, in our own way too, connect with the animals, the planets, and every part of life too when we ground our energy and to really change, you know, to really reinvent ourselves, you know, with the wind card and just really, really, you know, connecting with that. And also just to really have a faith, you know, with the dark matter card too. You get, I'm just going to hold this card right here too in this camera. And so this is really all about um, reinventing ourselves. And just, you know, this was a powerful time to do that. And now I'm going to flip over the next cards here too that I pulled for this video. Also, I'm going to share these powerful messages for you guys as well. So I'm going to flip these bad boys over and see what we have here. And so with the Archangel Metatron deck too, for the, and the messages that I have for you guys for this video. Also, the first message I want to share with you guys too 
is to keep on shining on. And just like, you know, when things are chaotic and just really crazy out there too, just like when we are finding ways to keep on shining on, you know, in our spiritual path too, it can really help us, you know, light things up in so many ways. And so like for us, for anyone who is watching this video, is just to keep on shining on, really just continue to really be in that beacon of light in in your life too and in the people that and for the people that we care about and for our planet as well. And to also the second message that I have for the for this video today too. And it's just to really, you know, kind of find that key to freedom. And just really finding that key to freedom, as you guys can see in this image below too, is just to really find that key to freedom where you can just really not being too codependent on anything that doesn't or anyone that doesn't really um, serve your highest good and really finding your own freedom, your own path, you know, you know, really, and with this message too, I don't really go deeper with this message. And it's just to really find that key to freedom where you're just not being dependent on anyone in anything and just really find your own freedom, really just find yourself to bloom in your own way too. And when we find that key to freedom, just really releasing anything that doesn't serve our highest good and really just Find that own freedom can really just be spiritually um, uplifting and liberating as well when we find our own key to freedom. And the next next message that I have for you guys too is to connect with your purity and innocence. And just like um, in this image, also with this image, also you see the diamond right here too in this image as well. And it's very unique and it's very beautiful. And just like you know for as for anyone who's watching this video also is just to really connect with that you know your your, your beauty and this innocence and even wearing the color white can really just you know connect with that and i'm gonna i'm trying to hold the image in, in this for this video also and just like you know with this image also just really wearing white wearing the color white whether it be with diamonds and jewelry and crystals Anything that really helps connect with the purity and innocence and helps purify your, you know, the soul also can really just be beneficial. And so whatever, how you connect with the color white, you're really just connecting with the purity and innocence. And just like, you know, with the diamonds too, you know, if you, and anything that really connects with that, just really go for it. Really connect with your purity and innocence in your own way. And with the last message that I have for you guys also, for this video today too. And it's just a really powerful time for us to really reflect and reveal and reflect on things too. And just like with the full moon placement today too, and this image is really strong. And so I'm gonna hold this image right here too, if you guys can see it. And it's just like a powerful time for us to really just um, reveal and um, reveal, uh, reveal and reflect on things too, just taking the time out, you know, to really reflect on things too, and especially for the full moon um, placement at Libra too, is really strong with this image as well. And so for us too, especially, you know, for the full moon and Virgo's placement too, if we're just, you know, really strive for perfection in our lives too, trying to really solve everything out too. And it's just like a powerful time for us too, if things are really intense, it's just a, Review and reflect on things too in our own way. Even just being in nature, if you see it with the image of the water and the mountains too, it's very grounding and creative and uplifting. It's just to really, you know, review and reflect on things, really taking the time out too, you know, to take some time for ourselves it can really just be very spiritually uplifting for us too when we take time out. And so hopefully you love this image too. I'm sorry if I'm holding it for kind of like, you know, in a very crazy way. Let's see if I can get closer. And so there you go. If you guys can really see this image too, I just want to share it with you guys too. Just really reviewing and reflecting on things too. Really take some time out for ourselves for um, today's full moon cycle. And so with that being said, I'm going to share these messages all with you guys one more time. And so with the first message, this is really all about um, continuing to build ourselves up, you know, with the Adams card. 
and to really find ways to ground our energy too. Just really ground our energies and really finding ways to really ground our energy with nature and in our own way too. And to re really reinvent ourselves too, you know, really is just like making that change, you know, with the wind card too, which is really element of air. And to just to really continue to have faith in the unknown. You guys can see this image too. Just really have faith in the unknown. Just really have faith within ourselves to know that things will be okay and find that spiritual clarity for ourselves. And to also to really just continue to shine on no matter what, you know, with everything if life throws at you, you know, with the beacon card. And to find that key to freedom. You know, and just like um hold this message right here too. Just uh find that key to freedom where you can just um find your own independence, not being dependent on anyone or anything. Just, you know, that's holding you back and that doesn't serve your highest good too. And to connect with your purity and innocence, wearing diamonds, wearing the color white, or even just with doing anything that just really helps you connect with your purity and innocence can really just really be spiritually beneficial and uplifting for you too, especially with the, especially with the uh, diamond right here too. It's very gorgeous. And to also, for the last message too that I have for you guys as well, is just to really take some time to review and reflect on things, just really taking the time out needed, but even if you have to go in nature, you know, for the full moon placement in Virgo, and it's, you know, the full moon is very strong with this image also, especially the water element and the mountains here too. Just really taking time out to really reflect on things and just really put things in perspective for yourself. Hmm. And so with that being said, guys, I'm going to come back and turn around for you guys in this video as well. And hopefully you guys really enjoyed these messages also. And sorry if I went a little deeper than it should, you know, in this video. But um, hopefully you guys really gained some insight and some spiritual and clarity, spiritual and emotionally and mental clarity as well for this video, from this video also. And I hope that you, really, you guys enjoyed this video as well. And much love to all the peeps who are watching this on Instagram and on YouTube. And to those who uh, are following on this on my Instagram page and YouTube page also, YouTube channel also, I should say. Much love to all you guys in here too. If you guys guys are watching this on my Instagram page, Herc420, feel free to give it, give it a heart, share with your friends, follow my Instagram channel. Instagram page if you guys want to see more videos like this and if you guys are watching this on my YouTube channel feel free to get this like video a like share with your friends subscribe to my um, YouTube channel also and hit the notification bell twice and yes I said it twice so you guys won't miss a thing when it comes to my content when you subscribe you know with my channel it automatically you know notifies you but if you hit the notification bell again and you click on the top notification bell you'll get notified for all the content that i'm doing on my youtube channel whether it be on doing a live stream or uploading another video for you guys to educate yourselves and to, and to entertain yourselves also Ooh. so that with that being said guys happy full moon in virgo or libra praise Libra placement right now too, wherever it may be, and for this video also, and happy St. Patrick's Day weekend to all you guys in here too, and especially for all this peeps too, all over the world too, much love to all you guys too, and really, um, especially for those who are going through their challenges too, all over the world, I just uh, much love to all you guys, and you're all in my prayers and thoughts in so many ways too, and May we continue to practice self-care that can benefit us, our loved ones, and our environment. And I'll see you guys around with in these social media and YouTube streets for more content like this for you guys to educate yourselves and to entertain yourselves at the same time. Peace and much love. Namaste.
Thank you.